Hola amigos, Dr. Lubernicke. Today we'll take a look at ser and estar. First we'll look at how to conjugate them, then we'll take a look at the difference between the two. When do we use ser or when do we use estar? So they both mean to be. Since we only have one verb like that in English, it gets a little bit tricky when we try and figure out two verbs that have similar meanings in Spanish. All right, let's get started. All right, here's the conjugations of the verb ser, which means to be in the present tense. So ser is the infinitive form, but just like in English, I can't say I to be the teacher. I have to change it to say I am, you are, he or she is. Those are called conjugations. So soy means I am, eres is you are, ace can mean he is, she is, or you are with the formal usted version, somos, we are, sois, y'all are, just used in Spain, and son is they are, or you all are. Okay, let's take a look at how we conjugate a star, which also means to be, and this is the present tense conjugation chart. Estoy, I am, estás, you are, está, he is, she is, you are the formal version, estamos, we are, estáis, y'all are, están, they are, or you all are. Something also important to notice here is that the four bottom forms, estás, está, estáis, están, all have an accent over the A. So your teacher may want you to know that as well. That's important to have your accent marks. Okay, let's take a look at some examples of when we use ser. Ser is used with permanent characteristics and also place of origin. And here's a few examples. De donde eres tu? Where are you from? Here I underline de. Typically de and ser are going to go together. So that's a place of origin. Another example, nosotros somos graciosos. We are funny. That would be a characteristic. Las casas son blancas. The houses are white. Another permanent characteristic. So sometimes people say, well, I could paint the house a different color, so that's not permanent. Well, it's um, what we mean by permanent is things that don't change from day to day on their own. And we'll get some better examples of that in a star next. All right, here's some examples of a star. A star is used with all locations, plus temporary conditions. So here are some examples. Como estas tu? How are you? It's kind of asking, what's your status? So you can think of it that way. So how are you? Como estas? Donde esta el baño? Where is the bathroom? Okay, so this is the location, so we need a star. And our last example, Madrid esta en España. Madrid is in Spain. Again, that's a location. It's not going to change. Locations use a star. All right, let's take a look at a practice activity that you can give a try here too. So I've given you the Spanish sentence, but taken out a star or ser. So figure out which one you'd need, and then how would you conjugate it? And then I've given the English translation behind it, so you can kind of think of it that way. So number one, I am sick. Number two, where are you from? Numero tres, we are from Peru. Numero cuatro, the building is tall. And numero cinco, they are intelligent. So pause the video and figure out Sarah or star are. How do you conjugate? And I'm going to give you the answers in the next slide. All right, here we have the answers and an explanation of why. Numero uno, yo estoy enfermo. I'm sick. So hopefully that's a temporary thing and that you will get better. Numero dos, donde estás tú? Where are you from? Or excuse me, where are you? So that's a uh, location, so we use a star. Numero tres, nosotros somos de Peru. So we are from Peru. This is ser, and we use ser because it's a place of origin. And notice that we had that clue with de, ser and de typically go together. Numero cuatro, el edificio es alto, the building is tall. That would fall under the category of a permanent characteristic. And our last one, 
Eos son inteligentes. They are intelligent. Again, that's going to be a permanent characteristic. All right, hopefully you thought that video helped. Uh, gracias por mirar. And click subscribe to my channel, Learning Spanish with Dr. L. And let me know if you have any comments below. Adios.